Hello and welcome. Today, we are at the Adelaide Oval. All in all, a good turnout for this particular match. Providing special comments for today's game is Gary Lyon. Thanks, Ado. Should be a great game today. Here today, the clash between Port Adelaide and Carlton. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. Yes, I know. Well, we could be in for a scrappy game here. Both sides have been pretty good defensively of late. It's which defensive method stacks up better. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The banners are ready for the players. It's more than a sport. It's a true of both sides make their way to the middle for the coin toss. Port Adelaide wins the toss. Both these teams coming off good wins last week. What an exciting matchup we have here today. And here's the bounce to begin the game. Tap came from Glycet. The ball in the hands of Cruiser. Handballs. Slips the handball to Murphy. Scoops up the ball. Kicks hurriedly. Kept alive under pressure. Burn Jones slips high and gives away the free kick. Moved on by Lauman. The ball ends up with Dixon. Sinks the slipper into it. He intercepts the ball well. Decides to kick. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Wines drives a low kick. Jones clicking the track down the footy. Cleanly picked up. Ball collected. Missed the target. Collects the loose ball. Weedering dug out the loose ball. Missed the target. Pitnet throws the ball away. Slams it on the boot. Ball gets cut off. He gains possession. Plowman gathers it now. Plowman turns a free kick. With a driving kick, Doherty presents and takes the mark. Now with a low spearing kick. Nice work from Nunes. Hurried kick. Walsh wins the mark in contest. A spearing kick. The loose ball picked up. We'll get a ball up on the wing. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Great tackle. Great attack on the ball carrier. Well collected. Used the hands and gives away the free. Moves it by foot. Still awaiting the first score in this one. Testing shot outside 50. Watts going for number one. It's a big kick, and it goes straight through. He's excited about that one. Port Adelaide gets the first goal. Lysette thrashes it. Didn't fumble. The ball bubbling around. Power Pepper kicks hurriedly. Picks up the loose ball. Slick with the hands. Doherty slams it onto the boot. Silvani decides to soccer it. Gathered by Martin. Martin just threw it. Looks up with a kick. He takes the mark. Power Pepper kicks it. Casbolt collects the loose ball. And pumps it through the big sticks. He's enjoying every second of it out there. Celebrating hard. Carlton sink their first. 
The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. At full stride, receives the handball. Pau Pfeffer comes away with the ball. Cripps got him high there. Moved on by Pau Pfeffer. Sockers it forward. Ball up in the centre square. By set. Won the hit out. Pitnet hurried kick. They can create from this. Plowman just gets it onto the boot. A quick handball from Pantlet. They can link up now. Moves the ball by foot. Motlock uses it by foot. Rushes the through from behind. Walsh runs onto the field. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? There's some great skills on display right now. A great match. Uses a short handball. Goes for the goals. Motlock goes off the deck and nails the goal. Congratulated by his teammates. Port Adelaide by seven points. Back with another centre bounce. Wins the ruck duel. Walsh with the ball. Penetrating handball. Slams it onto the boot. The ball ends up going to ground. The ball mopped up. Found a way to keep balance. <laughs> Teammates break for him. Bow got under it. Moves the ball by foot. Finds a bit of room to mark. Spills the mark. McKay takes aim. It's only a behind. The lead is easily in reach for Carlton. Considering the options on the kick in, plays onto himself. Goes by foot. Loses control of the ball. Picked up under pressure. Runs out of room and will get a throw in. Thrown in now. Won it down. Paulson going for number one. I think it's got the legs. It's there. He celebrates hard after that. The Blues hit the front. We're back in motion. Thump clear. Fox Sockers it forward. Dug out the loose ball. Gets a handball away. Cripps links up with a chance to run. The mark is taken by Fisher. Got boot to ball. Marked by Kennedy. Fans crossing their fingers, hoping he can put this one through the big sticks. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this far. Cripps steers it towards goals. Found space for an easy mark. Jonas with a poor kick out of play. Dixon heads onto the ground. A chance here to convert for Carlton. The angle's a big ask for Martin. He likes his chances from here. Look at them celebrate that effort. Carlton by seven points. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Back in the middle. Has the rucks go at it. Won the hit out. Kerno just gets a boot to it. Paulson was taken high in the tackle. Paulson has resources out wide. Lining up for goal. Trips a long way out. Move it on. Going for goal number one. Offline for it behind. Carlton by eight points. Weighing up the options now. Picked up, pushes off the tackler. The end of the final term sees the scores standing. The Blues, 21 to Port Adelaide, 13. Carlton have come to play. They've got themselves in the game and need to push on now.
Here's Gaz to break down the stats. Carlton trailing the clearance numbers, but it's not a big issue for them because of their defence. Thanks, Gary. We're ready for second quarter action. Centre bounce. Life set. Clears the contest. Life set. Will be the recipient of the free. Looks to move it by foot. Over the top of the pack. Uses it now. Plowman got hands to it. Dixon hacking it out of there. Decides to soccer it. Cruiser gets his opponent onto the wrong foot. Cruiser throws the ball away. Boat goes the long option. Steady hands there as he holds that one. 50 metres out. Going for goal number two. Goes through for a behind. Port Adelaide reduced the margin, deciding where to go with the kick in. The kick from Jones ends up marking uncontested. Chose to kick it. O'Brien grabs that one. With a driving kick. Gets into some space to mark this. Marked by Cripps. He's got the football now. He wins possession. Burgoyne quickly out of the boot. Put his body on the line. Burton with the intercept. Finds his man. O'Brien wins the foot race. Gets the handball away. Rushes with the kick. Hartley couldn't hang on to the ball. Jonas just threw it. Cripps elects to kick. Stands tall and marks. 50 metres from home. He slams it towards goal. Summed it up and he delivers perfectly. Casper, who joined that goal. Carlton have three to run. Margin is 13. Pitnett thumps it forward. Collected by Colson. Kerno with an easy mark. Almost delivers, but not quite. Carlton, Gleek, Port Adelaide, 28 to 14. Martin spills it. The loose ball scooped up. Marks that ball uncontested. Wines kicks it. Mocklock marks uncontested. Stabs at the kick. A chance to gather the ball. Quickly onto the boot. Great mark in the pack. Lining up for goal. 50 metres out. Going for goal number one. It never really looked like going through. Port Adelaide has dropped more than two goals behind. Plays on from the kicking. Jones kicks it out, and the ball will be coming back. Opportunity once again for Port Adelaide to put one through. 40 metres from home, a tough chance from here. You're right, Hutto. Williams determined to reach the ball. Finds the loose ball. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Tries his luck at goal, hits the post, and it's a minor. It goes through for yet another behind. The scoreboard starting to worry Port Adelaide now. Players move as they look to provide an option. Does well to cut off the kick. 45 metres out. Heads for home. That is a stunning goal. That's his first. He acknowledges the crowd. The power behind by Tix. 
About to resume hostilities. Pitnet gets onto the ball. Ball stripped in the tackle. Ebert gets a quick kick away. Dixon wins the ball in the air. He drives it. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Takes a simple grab. Eva decides to play on. Decides to kick. Cleary uses the body well. 25 metres out. Can't separate these two teams now. If he kicks this one. They get around him after that effort. The scores are tied. Great bit of play that resulted in that. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Port Adelaide have been poor with their ball use. They've turned it over on too many occasions and it's allowing the opposition chances to score. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of foot. Quick hands, and they could be away here. Gets a quick kick away. Wins the race to the ball. Gives it, don't argue. Brings it out of the pack. Ball spills. Gathers it now. Has it now. Takes possession. A solid mark from Dilvani. Punches the kick. A strong pack mark. Nunes goes with the kick. Just gave it away. Didn't get away from the tackle. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. And the ball rolls over the boundary. The boundary umpire will toss it back in. Toss back into play. Thrashes it. He's got the footy in his hands. Even handballs out into space. We'll get a ball up on the wing. Kerno thumped it clear. The tackle slipped high and results in a free. Slams it on the boot. The umpire pings him here. Not much time left in the quarter. Puts it on the boot. Easily takes the mark. Elects to kick. Intercepts the ball well. What a brilliant tackle. Westock hunting with authority. Great tackling. Halftime sees both sides locked in 28. Let's see what the stats have to show. The players will be feeling the heat right now. Much appreciated, Gaz. Still a half to play and with plenty of time left in this match, expect both sides to come out firing in the second half.
The third quarter about to get underway. Lysette just swats it away. Plowman pushes through with power. Great mark under pressure. 50 metres from home. He takes aim. Martin with the mark. Almost certain to go through from this distance. He's put it through. Another goal. He's kicked a couple now. Martin loves that goal. The Blues with a narrow lead. It's great to watch, Hado. Plenty of excitement. Great bit of play that resulted in that. The Blues got behind in the clearances, but are set up well enough defensively that it hasn't made a big impact. Ball up in the centre square. It's very tense at the moment. Life set. Won the hit out. Thank you. Now it's a ball up. Hammers it. Ebert gathers it now. Tackle locks the ball loose. Manufactures the handball. He gains possession. Ends up marking uncontested. He gets his hands on the footy. Marks now and can send it back. Moves it by foot. Hartley takes it well. Just dismisses his opponent. Wines takes the mark. Works it across the ground. Taking a nice grab. Uses it by foot. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Moves the ball along the wing. Squeezes out a handball. Moplock moves it by hand, and now they're away. Good opportunity for Port Adelaide to put a goal through here. 35 metres out. Going for goal number one. He's really turning it on now. Rosie, love kicking that one. It's all level here. Umpire ready to resume play. Punched away. Opportunity for Murphy. The umpire calls for the ball now. Thumps it clear. Wine hunting with authority. A great defensive effort. Movement by hand. Kasbok is streaming past and gets the footy. Offline for a behind. Carlton with the ascendancy over Port Adelaide, leading 35 to 34. Kicks it out of defence. Had the pressure bearing down. Ball picked up. Not many touches of the ball for him. Unfortunately, lets them down there. Carlton starting to exert some dominance now. They lead 36 to 34. Looking to bring it back into play. Plays onto himself. He puts it out of bounds on the full. Goal scoring opportunity for Casbolt. 35 metres out. A goal from this spot is unlikely, but it is possible. Good call, Hutto. He drives it towards goal. No luck for him there. And it's a behind. They are really struggling in front of goal. Ready to bring it back into play. Doing well to intercept that kick. Kennedy lines up from long range. Move it on. He might kick a goal. Gets the loose ball. He has the ball. Kicks hurriedly. It's a turnover. Pal Pepper turns a free kick. Pal Pepper has resources out wide. Nobody can hold on here. Sutcliffe not getting much of it, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hunter. Bird Jones just gets it out of the boot. Just gets it out of the boot. Murphy hunted him down. Fantastic pressure there. Cripps kicks it out of bounds on the full. Pal Pepper getting a chance for a break. Puts boot to ball. A race for the loose ball. Scoops up the ball. 
Silvani moves it now. Goes off the ground. Fisher going for number one. Finds a way to goal along the ground. Smiles all round. The Blues beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 43 to 34. He did really well there and gets the reward. It's great to watch Hutto. Plenty of excitement. It really hurts Carlton when you aren't able to convert chances in front of goal, regardless of if you are winning or losing. Coaches hate missed shots. Decides to soccer it. This is Weedery. Picked up by Burton. Getting pushed out of the way was Nunes. Looks up with the kick. Plowman has it. Elects to keep moving. Finding the ball with ease. Rosie won himself a free. Six the slipper into it. Hartley didn't mark it. Cripps dismisses his opponent with disdain. The boundary line wins. A critical stage of this one. Ball tossed back in. Coughed up by Jonas. He looks like he needs a spell. Carlton fleet Port Adelaide by 10. Carlton are costing themselves with turnover today. They need to find a way to control the play better and stop turning it over. Collects the loose ball. Handballs to a teammate on the run. Puts it right through the middle. Gets his first. He celebrates hard after that. Carlton with a handy break. They lead Port Adelaide 50 to 34. Thump clear. Pops up the loose ball. Jonas just put it on the boot. Somehow got the ball out. Mottlock pulls the trigger. Through for a point. Port Adelaide now only trailed by 15. Unsure of their next move. Goes with the kick. Couldn't take it. Cripps kicks hurriedly. Watts needs a chance to rest. They can create from this. I'll have it. Clears the contest. Punches it clear. Uses the hands instead of the body. And it's a free kick. Bo kicks inside the 50. The boundary line wins this race. Cripps landed in his back on this occasion. Hooks the kick. The power reduced the margin. At the end of three quarters, it's Carlton 50, Port Adelaide 36. Carlton fans are we hoping they can hold on and get a memorable victory today. Time to see if there's anything interesting in the stats. The Blues have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game. Time to find out what happens in this final turn. They need to get a move on if they're going to win from here. A chance for Wines. Doing well with the mark. Carlton haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gas? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Sometimes you just sit back and enjoy the show. Congratulated by his teammates. The power behind by eight. Back in the middle now. My set hurls it away. Picks it up. Just got the hands in the back there. He drives it. 
finding the loose ball was McKay. Burn Jones was taken high in the tackle. Uses it now. Nice mark under pressure. Pal Pepper drives the kick. Couldn't complete the mark. Gets the loose ball. Spent that one before he earned it. Jockety heading to the bench. And the umpire says, my ball. Swats it. Charges with intent. High tackle. He spears the ball. Winning the ball in the air was Burgoyne. Puts it on the boot. Just put it on the boot. Kennedy collects the loose ball. Can't take the mark. Hacking it out of there. The ball spills to Boak. Kicks hurriedly. Even gets to the bench for a break. And the umpire calls for a stoppage. Clears the contest. Plowman goes for territory. Picking it up was Fisher. Cruiser hacking it out of there. Taken well at ground level by McGovern. Wines rushes with the kick. Cleary can link up through hands. Walsh will be the recipient of the free. They're doing really well to choose some time off the clock here. With a driving kick. Martin gives the body to take that mark. Carlton have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. A chance to reload the attack now. Goes by foot. Needs a bit of a rest. Just gets the hands free. Burton quickly onto the boot. Finds a target. West off. Going for broke now. Wow! How good was that? He acknowledges the crowd. Port Adelaide could kick back-to-back -back goals. Port Adelaide closed the gap to two with quick hands. Hits the target by hand. Puts it into space. Takes a simple grab. Rosie takes the pressure of the goal kick upon himself. They could take the lead here. Lucky to score with that shot. Port Adelaide reduced the margin. Jones looking for options now. Decides to play on now. Jones kicks hard along the boundary line. O'Brien will be upset with that. Oh, it's tense out there at the moment, Hutto. Umpire tosses it in. Thumps it clear. Rosie can't hold on to the tackle. Intercepted by Pittenet. Is in his possession with the ball now. What a kick. And he puts it through. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. That's three in a row for Port Adelaide. They've taken the lead. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Port Adelaide are doing a good job at cutting off the opposition attacks. Their intercept game is a key part of their defence. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Nunes comes away with the ball. Lobs the handball. Receives the handball. And takes off. Might be too far out to score. Martin with a chance for a third goal today. The drop part sails between the big sticks. He just loved that one. Carlton get on top again. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. We're back in the middle. Punches it clear. Just put it on the boot. Open opportunity for Nunes. The tackle deserved a free and gets it. Fantastic tackle. Rosie couldn't snap it. Hammers it. Goes for territory. 
Derek. It'll be a ball up. The players will be feeling it out there. Rosie thumps it clear. Now we've got a ball up. Thump clear. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Lice set with the hit. Kept alive under pressure. Kerno gained some territory. The loose ball picked up. O'Brien missed an opportunity to mark. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. You're right, Hutto. He's gone missing lately. Spears the ball. Here's a chance for Wines. Needs a big kick if he's going to put this through. Going for goal number one. That's the sort of goal that can get the team up and about. Celebrating hard. Port Adelaide. Get back and grab the lead. Big thump from Lysette. Made the tricky bounce look easy. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. Works it across the ground. Nunes had it, lost it. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Moves the ball by foot. O'Brien gets on the end of this. Elects to kick. Terrific mark there. Uses it by foot. Jonas runs after the ball. Jonas will be the recipient of the free. What a match that was. How did you see that one, Garrett? Teams are made in games like this. I know it can be a moment that takes teams to the next level. They put it all on the line, and they deserve to win. And thank you very much, Gaz. It's more than a sport. It's a true sport. Port Adelaide who won the match against Carlton 9 7 61 to 8 8 56. Thanks to Gary Lyon for joining us. We'll see you all later. It was great to be here, Hutto. I'll be back next time.